Why, hello, dear friends, and welcome. Just welcome, you know. <coughs> okay, so hello again, everyone. Um, is anyone actually in the chat? I haven't even looked. <laughs> okay, yes. Um, but yeah. We have arrived to attempt to keep these babies alive. Yeah, we're gonna try. We're gonna try our damnedest here. Don't know how well it's gonna fucking work though. Rog's losing goddamn limbs left and right. Meanwhile, somebody is off banging all the chicks and getting all the cool appendages and pets. Poor little boy can't win. <laughs> 34, 36, 38, 21. Right. Little beef boy that I, I added. Okay, go. I'm just gonna jump right into this shit. <clears throat> oh good, Rogs has returned to action. Rogs has returned to the region. Fuck. 17 years. Ugh. You're the worst. Um, okay. I'm gonna go with those two. Wait, what's... Draven not present in this one. Oh, okay. Weird. Uh... Just play, I guess. <laughs> what is this noise? What is, what the fuck? Wait, was it just going, not doing anything? God damn it. Come on guys, we gotta get our asses in fucking gear. So actually, I'm gonna send a couple of you to scout this area instead. Um, Kmietra and Rogs. And yeah, you two go scout because you hate each other, so it's funny. <clears throat> Research complete. Time for pie. That's his new catchphrase officially as of right now. That's his catchphrase. Two heartwoods, one fabrics. Necklace of rhythm. Speed, who needs speed again? 5.1, 6.7, 5.5, 5 5.3. Well, Walnick does, but Walnick currently has a strengthening. No, but you know what? It was definitely Rogs I was supposed to do that for because Okay, my baby. You'll be okay. It's gonna come out of the story. It's just maybe not whole. Okay, so uh, first thing is first. Everybody come, let's scout this area, cause, er, not scout. <clears throat> oh no, fuck. fucked around too much. We were delayed. We were hurt and hobbled. Well, we got to the end of spring, took all we could handle. We were slow. <laughs> Reports say the Gorgons are receding. Maybe they got what they wanted. Maybe they did, but it doesn't change anything. Yes, hello, sister. Welcome. I failed. A clash is coming. Building in TS4. That is perfectly acceptable. Okay, I only earned three years of peace. That is, I think, the worst I have ever done. Yeesh. Three years, okay. <clears throat> Esther returned to Teal Water Mill, brightening Al Alan's life 
or evening with tales of her many adventures. Rogs disappeared for a few months after grumbling something about that toothpaste skunk owing me an explanation. Upon his return, he seemed satisfied. <clears throat> okay. Walnut gathered a merry band of underlings who shared their passion, their appreciation for sparkly things in life, and they all marched off to strike out, off to strike secrets out of cold, of old castles. God fucking damn it! That was hard for me to say. <coughs> Ardian and Walnut kept up a schedule of sparring at afternoons. Ardian punctuated most every thrust with a witty comment. You never treated Gorgons to this banter. Why waste your breath on an audience that won't appreciate it? You're saying I do? <laughs> Kimietra was once visited by a cloak man cloaked in ivy. The spirit lay out three futures for Kimietra to pick from. After much soul searching, one was finally picked. Which one? Kimietra has a son? I did not see that coming. Kimieta's son has reached adventuring age. Endra has joined the highwayman of the Deathless Hound as a warrior. There's a lot going on in Kimieta's life that we are not privy to. Okay, he's gonna get zealous sleep. Um, shit, you know, now that she's got two of them, it actually looks better. But then also, she can't hold a weapon. But also, look at that damage. Bear hug? That's fucking amazing. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Esther bear touched. Oh, I gotta go for it. Yep, yep, I'm going for it. Okay, let's give you something that's not a shovel. So, how's about... I give you instead... The... What did Ender come with? Okay, good. He came with an axe. <laughs> Look at him! He's so cute! <clears throat> Um, for his other one, I will give him a great axe because gotta complete the set, right? Ooh, that's a lot of ingots. May have fucked Ardian over. No, I didn't. Excellent. How about a great spear? You, de you deserve a great spear, buddy. Yeah, look at that great spear. That's excellent. Um. <laughs> All right, she's going full blownsies. Yes. All right. <laughs> oh. I mean, she is the main character. I think we've all decided. Kimiette. Let's give you a better bow. And Walnick, um, well, how much is it gonna cost you? Ugh. That's fine, Walnick. You're naturally gifted, so that's all that really matters. Ugh. So good. Look at it. It's so good. Rogs has gone through so much, no joke. And then we've got this one. Just like the, the comparisons. <laughs> I mean, well, radical. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I think that's pretty much all I can do right now. Some storms batter compromise into combative neighbors. Grudges are no shelter in bitter weather. The rains had been falling for a full week with brief interludes of tense massing clouds and dripping branches. 
Mountain snows melted and water roared from the heights. The seas whirled and rung at the shore, flung waves ever further. Rivers conquered their banks and marched wider. <laughs> Valleys turned to huge bl brackish trees. Lowland woods and dams of dry times were swept away as creatures of all skin and shape sought to escape from churning floods. You think our lustrous po poisoned the weather after all this time? Why? How? With what? I'm telling you, it's... Well, who else could have done this? Oh, shit. I've seen things in the wild. Stuff you can't explain and... Oh, someone at the door. Strange party of visitors begs a fire. They appear to be on edge here in a common dwelling and also very soggy. Armin, you, you say we're natural allies. Care to explain? What? The haggard man behind the horns, calling himself Armin, takes a long breath and turns to address Kimietta and the rest. Ask my wife. Uh, I don't know either, guys. Ask my wife. She sent me. Can you believe that? It's my advanced age. I grew up here in Autumn you know. It looks different. <laughs> His two underlings shift and resettle their garments as they dry out. Must be about the flooding. Eh? You, you know why the... No? Everyone knows. It's those tentaclasts. What? Tentaclasts. The Gorgons. They bring ruin on us all. Which Gorgons? Um, they're blue. <laughs> that checks out. But, I mean, who's their... The Gorgons are flooding the world. They set it in motion and it can't be stopped. Almost. How? None of this should be possible. I mean, the rain, the melt, the sea. Right? It shouldn't be. The great balance should be unassailable. But somehow they've thrown it over. So the torrents fall, the seas thrash, and the soil seeps black down our warrens. It is, Ulstrix. I knew it would be. <laughs> oh, oops, I skipped whatever the fuck Arnon said. I don't care. Yeah, I don't know I do. I'm sorry. Ulstrix? No, it's the Gorgons, I'm saying. The beasts have our warren hemmed in. My wife's inside, dry and warm. You need to talk to her. Hemmed in, but you slipped by them. Hemmed in, but you slipped by them? There we go, that's that's a better emphasis. That's why it had to be me. I'm a master of looping the light. I tend to be missed. I think we'd like to believe you, but... Is it the horns? Trust me, you don't want me to take them off. He certainly gives us an option. A strange one, but... This weather, these floods, what else can go? Can we go on? I can't read, you guys. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Uh, but if you want to watch the world sink beneath a rising sea, watch all the land, land things perish, then you're exactly where you need to be. But if you see sense... Arnon thuds a lump of soaked fabric on the table. <laughs> Here's a... Oh, it's wet. I mean, it's a map. Sorry. It'll dry all crinkly. Follow the map. Come to our warrant. There, learn for yourselves how you can deflect this drowning doom and these lands all save. Okay. All right, we have got to clear this stuff. Let's go patrol. Let's, no, everybody, everybody go patrol. No, well, okay, no, I guess we should split up into groups. You three go, wait. Yeah, you three go patrol. And then the other three are already going here, looks like. Sure. 
Kenyatta and Esther make an absurd bet. Mm. I've never had this one be anything good. Like, oh no. This tile is flooded. Ardian, why are you just like hanging out? Oh no, he's in the middle of, no he's not. He's just hanging out. What is happening? Folks, why are they not patrolling? It says that they're patrolling. I am just... Okay. And come help with this one. Or, no. Um... We'll have them start building a pass through the mountain range. Let's get started. Oh, All of my, uh heavy hitters who could help with this are over here. So, you know, they're busy. I'm not doing well in this campaign. This may be my worst campaign yet. Okay, so someone needs to come back here and recruit. Oh, but I don't have enough legacy points. I'm still holding out for a hero. Guys, I hate this one. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, no. I don't feel like it right <laughs> now. I suppose this is as good a time as any to let you guys know that I frequently just drop fucking. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I want him to do things. Luke and Crane seem to drift in the night. Which one? The village languishes in the grips of an awful disease. Many lives taken, many more taken ill. Is that Rogs? Walnick, you look well enough. Because <laughs> I guess they're not seeing each other generally. <laughs> no one is on the streets but them. The stink of, disaster, of disease, whatever, curls out each window. Only crickets and occasional owl songs are there to remind, remember the world won't end tonight. Fate has chosen you to accompany me then. Thought I'd walk alone. <laughs> the fuck? So you often think, so, uh, so you often think, where are you going? It hangs over me, Walnick. A brilliant lodestar. I'm settling out, I'm setting out tonight, I think. You're supposed to come. Are you okay? You don't sound like yourself. Oh, does this have to do with him? I, guys. We go to a wild place that appeared to me in a dream. There's a poison in this town that was born somewhere distant. Fuck right off the phone scaring the crap out of me. I don't suppose there's a chance this was just a dream? Like, just like any other dream? No, you trust me, don't you? Well, just know that there are things that happen to me that are meant to happen. This is one of them. The journey begins at the down, downward. The journey begins at the downward tip of the year's longest night. Perhaps it's merely a coincidence, or perhaps Destiny's hand has touched the scales. Ooh. What does that mean? Uh, the shape of the moon. Oh, man, we're not, we'll, we'll do it, fine. Okay, and I guess you can take Bungle Skunk with you just in case. Fog descends sometime after dark. It casts an unearthly shade over everything. Hmm. So your idea is to attack this place, teeming with inscrutable malevolence uh, in the very depths of the night? What, you think bad hearts are stronger at night for some reason? Really, I don't think that's my choice at all.
as they approach Litania Earthworks, an unfamiliar odor comes to them. Chemical, thick, coating the insides of their cheeks, turning mealy in their mouths. Ech. Pressing on, the air grows denser, fouler. Then they see it. They see the stench, because I've been seeing the stench. What do you call that? I don't know. What is it? Something made that thing. Yeah, someone built an evil stink fountain in the woods. It's clearly not here for any friendly purpose. <laughs> Look inside that sphere. <gasps> you can see our town suffering. We must destroy it. That's why we were brought here. It makes my bones itch and my nostrils burn. Let's get on with it. As they move to destroy the strange edifice. A, oh, the creature hasn't seen them. Big surprise, I guess it's guarded. Big surprise, I guess, it's guarded. <laughs> It's, no matter what, there's no reason for any of it. Make sure you destroy the altar first. Before the beast can react. Rogs and Walnick have torn the edifice down, destroying its balanced particles and stomping the spell apart. For the highwaymen and the deathless hound, and for all free people, Walnick inexplicably yells, even though they're like, yeah, see? <laughs> Fucking A, man. Oh, oh! I like the birdie sounds. They're so good. All right, let's let's kick some gorgon ass, you guys. Kick gorgon ass. Come here and go stabby. Oh, oh. That was cool. I liked that. Let's see. Brooch of <laughs> Brooch of Courage. Um 57.4, 57, 55, 55. Um I mean Rog has got that courage going. I'm going with him. The Gorgon is dead, the glowing orb thing destroyed. For a moment, they can only look and ponder their dead and deed, whatever, and hope this would be enough to stem the sickness. We killed it, right? Is everything fine now? Hard to believe, I guess, but... Yep, I guess that must be it, huh, Walnick? The future is solved. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The sun begins to rise and the world awakens, and in the course of a few moments, the dark cloud of the Gorgon spell has blown apart. Faded into memory. Rogs and Walnick find no more reason to linger. They head home where they will find the wasting illness that threatened to overwhelm their town has mysteriously vanished. I don't know why, but I have the feeling something's over. That I don't know what's next. Like, was this what your life was leading towards? Is this the, the reason you survived all those times? Is he gonna die soon? I've always had a, a sense of clear purpose and mission. And sometimes I wished I didn't, but now there's this emptiness? So I have to decide, I guess. I have to take charge and... Rogs. Oh, pretty! Look, there's always another storm on the way for a lot of us. We don't necessarily feel called. We just, you know, take our rest between rains. Oh! Face good babies. Okay, let us give you some hardiness because that made me terrified for you. <sighs> like, that was scary. Okay, um, okay, 
so... Why don't you four do that? While Endra and um, Kimietra do that. <laughs> Anyone see signs of the Gorgons? I don't know. Maybe we call a lucky break and Esther's information is wrong. Maybe they aren't here. Trust me, I spent all night romancing the town gossip back in Looping Crane. He hears everything. She just, she's just out there romancing folk. She's just like, yeah, what's up? There's enough Esther to go around. Check out my bare arms. <laughs> the endless looks sharp. The Gorgons may be. <gasps> A Threxel! <laughs> you said it would be Gorgons. It should be Gorgons. What's a Threxel doing here? Oh no. Form up. Let's take it out. Then deal with the Gorgons. Wait, it... It, it wants to help us. Help us? Help us do what? Fight the Gorgons. How, Walnick, how do you know that? I don't know. It's an impression I can feel in my mind. Uh, it's in Walnick's mind. Let's take it out. Wait, it's telling the truth. It could provide us with a substantial tactical advantage. I just, uh... Like, the logical part of me is like, yeah, we should totally do what Rogs is, uh... Uh, suggesting. But, like... I'm kind of with Esther on this whole, like... Hold up. Fuck off. <laughs> Don't get in my friend's brain. What if something bad happens? <laughs> what if we lose Walnick? I don't know if I could handle that. Okay, Walnick is everyone's friend, including the giant bug. Alright, let's do this. Deal. Let's fight this fight together. We can settle our other differences later. Good. It feels... satisfaction. For this fight, we are allies. <laughs> Remember though, if it screws us over, I'm gonna stab it right in the egg sack. Okay, buddy. Take us to the Gorgons. Oh, hi, little baby. Come to Auntie Esther. It's all right, little one, but what a story you'll make. Legacy point, because she don't got no weapons. Run free, spirit of the wild. Instinct says to put him here. Maybe here. You know what? That might be cool. Like, we come in. Okay. Seeker here. Um. Just in case. You know, something comes through and shit. Right, and strong boy, you come you come help out uh rugs. Mm. 
Okay, I'm gonna be him because I want to open the fucking door. Boom! I shot a m snot monster! Oh, let's see how I can attack as this guy. Mandibles or dream trap? Mandibles. I'm just gonna fucking bite this fucker. Nope, let's play the one that's further in front. Thank you. Wah! She went into sentinel mode. Uh, skid up to the front, and then you're gonna just like, uh, oh, cooking pot, shackle, shackle that cooking pot to that raccoon. Oh wait, didn't I? No. No, that's right. It's fucking what's his nuts that has that. Um, the son. Kimiera's son. I don't remember. Arden? Is that his name? No, because this is Ar Ardian. I don't know. Thelma. Um, what? How are you not dead? Rugs, get over here. Oh gosh! Oh golly gee! Shoot that one. And then someone will come from behind to help you by biting that one. Oops. God damn it. Get out of the way, you fucking bug. Okay, that's probably not great, you know. Sir. Oh god, I feel so trapped right now. And I didn't give anyone fucking wind walk. Fuck this. Okay, what well, if I do that, then I can throw the axe. Well, that's cool. At least I did something, right? Right? Am I right? Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Oh shit. Good thing Seeker went in first. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, Seeker, get- oh. This fucker won't move! Okay, here's what we gotta do. You go here. Because then that way, let's tag out and have... You know what, Walnick? You gonna burn this motherfucker! And then Esther, you're gonna- Come on up. And. Oh shit! Oh, oh! Swipes! Get him some good old fucking. Sw oh yeah! Esther Bear Touched. Esther Bear Touch. That's just. She's just Bear Touch. Um. Okay. I am definitely gonna give him Zealous Sleep because Zealous Sleep is so helpful. Oh, wait. Walnick is still wearing fucking the humble beginnings? Fuck. My bad. Excellent. Feather steel scarf. Speed. Uh, 6.6, 5.5, 5.1, 4.6, 5.2. Uh, ooh.
We did it. See, I told you we could trust. Hey, where'd it go? No, why did it? Where did it? What? Oh. Walnick, it's all right. It, is it still in their head? Huh? No, I'm... I'm gonna throw up. It made me as Thrixel brain candy. Yeah, they're fine. You were right. That Thrixel did help us. Yes, it was strange. Having it in my mind for that fight, somehow I felt fearless. I guess it is... Is that what it feels like for you guys all the time? Sorry, my brain stopped working. Hmm. Well, I'd feel a lot better if I knew why it helped us. Agreed. Why do you think it wa What do you think it wanted? Nothing good, I bet. Then... I don't, I don't like that we just, like, let our friend be overtaken. That was, that was deeply upsetting. Okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna have a few of you check the site. Just, uh, split them up. You three do that. And then you three do that. Doop, 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 doop. Do. I did it. I opened a passage. Now you guys can go scout. Go, go. Tower will flood in 120. Okay, maybe, maybe I'll make it so that they don't flood. Maybe, maybe I'll be real good. Fuck the Geist. And no hero again. But I also don't want those things, so. It's worth it, right? Yeah, fucking, did you see the damage my girl Esther did? With those bare arms. Good God, girl. It's so good. I love it. Oh, I still need to change her name to Esther Bear Touched. Bear Touch? Esther Bear Arms. <laughs> um, okay, block. 57, 57.4, 58, 60, 60, 55. Um, wait. She's got the lowest, probably because she's got them bare arms, huh? That'll do it. Well, she gets a talisman now, too. Look at that. She looks fucking rad. I'm also still so glad about that color palette for her. Okay. Okay. Um. Now, then. Ugh, look at these places. They're so... They're murdered. Look, why don't you go make a bridge there? Right now, let's go. You three, go. Because then, if we can just patrol these places, I can get rid of, oh no, more Thoggy. No. Oh no! No, 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 wait, go here instead. Oh, oops. Did I do that wrong? Oh, I so fucking did. Um. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, okay, that's why. I did, I did do it wrong. I was totally intending to have these guys come over here. go guys oh right they have been cleared so let's let's do this hopefully this isn't gonna suck this is it fennel gray focus more thoggy around here somewhere keep your eyes peeled we'll fight soon enough but first what who are you what are you doing here we're the highwayman of the Deathless Hound, but never mind that. It's like... <laughs> I just like him being her, her son, because it's just like, I'm a dork. <laughs> this is Fennel Grave Focus, isn't it? Home of the best brews this side of Looping Crane. 
Her spirits have been called the Nectar of the Gods. Yes, this is Fennelgrave. Grav? Fennelgrav. Fennelgrav focus. And you heard right about my spirits. But I ain't brewed nothing in these past weeks. But why? <laughs> Thrice cursed Morthoggy scum is why. Come on in. See for yourself. Hmm. <laughs> That's putrid. Foul use of my fine establishment. They got me brewing up this vile concoction for them. I bring them fresh batches every few days in the ruins. Pour it right into their veins. They have veins that, if they have veins, that is. Does something wicked to them, this brew. Makes them faster and stronger. Why are you helping them? They, they have my wife. Uh... <laughs> I am so tempted. <laughs> I mean, it's like an almost 60% chance of, of working. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and if this is how he goes, what a fucking way to go, right? Just fucking chugging more Thoggy blood? That's some, like, Targaryen-ass shit. Drinking the wildfire. Okay. I guess I won't kill her son, because I think that's probably what would happen. <laughs> Don't worry. Your wife will be home soon. We'll get her back. You, you mean it? I haven't seen her in so long. Indeed. We won't let those monsters keep your beloved. Yeah, Mom, you tell them. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I'm not happy with this. Oh, hello, little sprite. First off, get the baby. A leaf spirit? Are you all right, little one? Hmm. I could enchant my bow, enchant my dagger, or just settle for a legacy point. I'm gonna settle for a legacy point because I'd rather see it go free. Okay, and now that I'm here, I'm gonna shoot you. You motherfucker. Zell asleep. Gotta go help mom. My mom tried to kill you, you should be hurt. these things. I hate these things. I hate these things. Oh. I'm going to turn into the boy here. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, he's going to hit you. Boom! Discus. Okay. Now then. You, my dear, gonna open that door. And you're gonna silk step your way in. And you're hidden. Unless they decide that they can see you, apparently. Oh, because it was doing the seek out thing. Okay. Pull back a little so you can do a tiny bit of damage. Yeah! Got him with 
a great axe. That way we've got a little triangle. Nice sturdy triangle. See? What? You motherfucker. Yeah, go for it. Oh no, oh no, 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 I hate them. No! You motherfuckers doing damage to the things I need for my spells. Oh right, I haven't gotten uh, piercing or whatever, shot, shoot through, whatever. Give it a jump. Guardian. <laughs> Why is everything light things instead of fucking doing what they're supposed to do? Okay, barrage. Kill them motherfuckers. That didn't kill them. Por que no? Bam. Fuck it. Throw your other axe. Ta-da! Still trying to figure out when Kamiatra had the time to have a child. Um, well, probably during those, like, what was it, 12 years of peace? No. Nine years of peace? Whatever. The storm flail. Hmm. I shall give that... Yeah, I want to give that to you. Yee, I love it. Okay, yes, absolutely. That's the last of them. You can come out now, Hunor. That was incredible. You were amazing. Psych, turns out he was a bad guy all along, too. But, Carver, where is she? Look, over there. Hunor, is that you? Carver, you came! Sorry it took me so long. Couldn't have done it without these folks. I can never repay you for it, but you'll never want for something fine to drink. Cool. Kendra gets free booze. Okay, um... Secure. Forgot what I was doing for a second. As is off to happen. Oh. Defend. The Morthogi have come. Why have the Morthogi come, though? They've, finally, they can be heard. Unusually quiet, but unmistakable. Like oiled machinery, like bones sliding on velvet. I don't like that. <laughs> How should the defenders respond? Be brave, but don't take foolish risks. Let's see, charge into battle, we'll use our knowledge of the land, stay hidden until the last moment, fight with cunning. Yeah, that sounds right. Concealed amid their surroundings, they elude the frustrated eyes of their enemy. Choosing the moment to strike is up to them. I do love the color palette, though, for the Marthagi. I love that, that, like, fucking warm as fuck orange. Yeah, you fucking heard me. 
Okay. This one, this, this uh, battleground I can have troubles with, so just be forewarned. I have a tendency to spread them too thin and not think about, you know. <clears throat> You're gonna come join these folk here. Let's put you here. So from there, they can interfuse that. Cool. Sommelier! Is great because if I'm not mistaken that's the one that can make more um, monsters okay well um oh shit see that was fucked um I changed my mind. I don't want you doing that, honey. Come down here. <clears throat> we'll go back around up there. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Slam. Way to go, Fen Hog. That's his porn name. Um, I guess come here and fucking wait. Really, not much that you can do to help at this point. So, come out here and um. Interfuse with the wheelbarrow, I guess. Done. Yeah, let's, let's... Well. Yep, I'm gonna lose some... Villagers. Yep, there she goes. There she goes. Jesus, how is your aim so bad? How do you survive, villager? Okay, come all the way up here, because then I'm going to have Endra come stand in front of you. Ooh, yeah, he's going to he's gonna stand to the side of you, because then you guys will all be strong together. forward a bit and then from here we can interfuse with that wheelbarrow with that wheelbarrow and then you can explode him yeah what the shit Nyx survives. Oh, Kimietra might not. <laughs> Shit. Uh, why don't you instead come here and help with this fucker? What? Are you fucking kidding me? 
Uh, that does seven. This one does five. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, just fucking strike this fucker. I keep forgetting you've got a sword. <laughs> uh... Yeah, oops. Her right leg was destroyed! I'd fight if I could win this one for me! Fuck. Fuck. Well, this is one hardy villager. Why? There. God damn. I, ca I came with too few heroes. I should have come with more. <laughs> okay, well, fuck it. There. Now that thing's dead too. Great. If everything can just fucking stay dead now. Uh, I don't know what to do with, with, with the red shirt. What do I, uh... Wait. Just gonna wait. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, shit, no! Yeah, I am woefully- this- I am not doing well this campaign. Oh no! Walnick! Uh, yeah, I might be redoing this one. No, no, there's no way I'm winning what's left with fucking... A, like, a level 2 and a goddamn villager. Well, it's just you now, buddy. I did a thing! And then he dies immediately. Yeah. <sighs> Load. Um, let's go. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> okay, instead what I'm going to have everyone do is show up there. Because, no, yeah, Ardian can, you know, stick to doing what he's doing, but... Okay, it's fine. It's fine. No, wait. Ugh, fuck, okay. Gather. You folk who are not there. Sco! Go, 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 go! Quickly! Kimitra only has some help. It'll be fine. How should the defenders respond? Esther, I'm glad you're here. You have no idea what happened last time. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, charge into battle. Fuck yeah, let's do it. The great cry they share, the strength of standing side by side, fills them with defiant courage. They charge! Okay. 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 Okay, this is a different... 
board. Excellent. I I like this one even less. <sighs> okay, well at least it doesn't have the backside that it sometimes has. He can shoot it. He can shoot it. Oh, and he killed it his first try. Okay. Uh, let's get the red shirt out there. Look, I'm sorry. They're red shirts is what it is, man. Him up, motherfucker! You think you can just get away from Walnick? Walnick will murder you. Or Walnick is the true good good. All right, yeah, just come. Just I need to get out there. That's all there is to it, man. You know. How fucking dare she's so he can't shoot any of them, so. Yeah, just, just stick with her, sweetheart. I am the Sand Guardian. Chardonnado? That's fucking rad. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Yes! Uh... Yeah, stay in his little bubble, sweetheart. Trust me. <laughs> No, that, that makes absolutely perfect sense. Thank you. Um, okay. Hmm. Swipes. Oh, shit. Her damage went up again. <sighs> fuck, 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 fuck. I mean, it would absolutely kill the Watchmen. Okay, so... You know what? Swipes has a better chance of, yeah, hitting them both. Yes! Ah, oh, that was fucking rude. It's just, um, I'm going to have you come be. Over here. And you, my good sir, you shall come forth and guardian. And uh, let's lasso the Chardonnay. Oh, I can't. He's too far away. Damn. That's okay. Man, how many 
many things are they fucking connected to right now? Three? Okay. Man, Walnick is fucking... They've got their fingers in all the goddamn pies. Fuck! Sorry. I do not like skeleton scorpion. No thank you, please. Yeah, well, you know. They're not good. In fact, they're quite horrible. Especially when you realize they are actually made of people. It's a form of, um... There, what are they? Um, like necro scorpion thing is people. Exactly. Exactly. Oh shit, should I get that one or that one that's gonna kill my little friend there otherwise. Yeah. How? I imagine he caught it with his fucking hand thing. You, come over here and hurt this thing. Yay! Alright. You ready for this, buddy? You're gonna take a nice zealous leap, walk up to that thing and say, hey, my name is um Endra and I'm here t to kill you. I guess you can't really do that. Damn it. It's okay. You did your best. I I don't blame you. Oh no, another weldling. Okay, there might be some coming around the corner there, but I'm just gonna make sure my babies are all together and that way I'm doing all right. Sentinel. <sighs> setting up pieces, setting up pieces. Hoping they don't fall too far. <laughs> oh, good boy. He a good boy. Wait, is that thing still lit? No, okay. No, kill all enemies, so they're all out. No more shell. Um, well, boo, um, I knew I should have given you fucking, what's it called? Wind walk. Because that way they can, you know, just appear randomly in a random place. Ah. All right, I guess you guys are coming around now. And she killed it. Yay. Yay. Look, everybody lived this time. Ooh, shit. I do love being able to summon a fucking tree from nowhere. It is really, like, satisfying. But... Long reach is good. I'm going with long reach. Um, I mean, in in another time, maybe a bard, but I don't think he can do that anymore. <laughs> Heroism, it is. I guess, um, I'm going to 
gonna leave you three to do that. And meanwhile, take in these folk to patrol. Get rid of that nasty I, I'm sorry if it bugs you guys if I skip through that stuff, but I don't like it. I don't care for it. Necklace of Faith. Let's see. Plus 8.9, 9 9.7, 10, 12.3. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to go with Endra since he's got like no health. <laughs> build a bridge quickly like soup soups quick Take 33 days for them to do it god damn a tile wolf okay cool oh no wait did it already flood is that why fuck Okay, so why don't some of you come help with that? And, um, wait, I didn't do it. I didn't add anyone. Oh, <laughs> I feel so stressed out right now. You go build it, Esther Bear Arms. Okay, now patrol. Um, what? Yeah, we cleared it of that infestation. You guys, you guys, I'm stoked. Where's my lucky coin? It's a small thing to misplace in a big world. Couldn't have been the spoon or socks, could it? Had to be the coin. That coin is responsible for more victories than you'd think. I forgot it on a hunt one time, and I couldn't hit a thing. Right now, Andrew is a squishy who thinks he's a tank. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what Andre is. You know, friends help friends look for lucky coins. Okay, let me just uh, work up the initiative. <sighs> hey, it, it, oh, is that it? <laughs> look at him! Like, koala bug thing. What the? That coin is irreplaceable, and some critter is chewing on it? Mmm, <gasps> zip, zap, zooey. <laughs> oh, oh, look at him go. Uh... Yeah, go for it. Don't make me grab it out of your mouth. Oh no. Nope, didn't work. Ah! Ugh, fuck. When it works, it's good. I like it. him on the head. Once per combat, Rogs gains a plus one action point and attack actions only cost one 
action point this turn. Okay, so it's a free action. Okay. Okay. Give it a shot. So then I can go... Spread it around. Get a, get a good two shotter in. Okay, are you ready? My little, my little baby boo boo. Look at you. <laughs> I feel like he needs a different voice. I need to think of a different voice for him. I'm really feeling like Mulan when she's pretending to be um, Ping and she's like, I'm a manly man. See, you have a sword. I also have one. It's very manly and tough. Oh no, but you're still in the, in the gross. You're in the gross, bro. Oh no. Guardian. Cooking pot. Shackles. I didn't realize there was a raccoon behind him. You damn straight. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! No, 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 no! You leave him alone! I don't think he's gonna get wisdom. He just doesn't feel the type. Endra feels like he's the worst parts of his mom, and then like his dad was somebody like super rambunctious. Yeah, way to tough it out, Ardian. Seriously. Got fucking by barely. Look at that. I'm gonna go with Wolf Call. Ember Arrows, yes, fuck yes. I love Ember Arrows. All you have to do is be near fire. And so like, a Mystic can set up a shot for, for that. So it's just like, infuse fire and put it there. And then like, you shoot and it's easy and it's good and it's great. And it's <sighs> something I just love about this game. <laughs> okay. Um... I'm going with the spear, yeah. That seems, well, hold on. Oh yeah, cause he's got fucking great shit. And that wouldn't work for you because you need you some magic stuff. Hmm. Okay, then yeah, it's gotta go to um, Endra. So you got the coin back? Yep, the little rascal must have had a change of heart and dropped it. It's kind of cute. In an ugly way, maybe. Come here, little critter. Come on, you want to be friends? What do we What do we say, chat? <laughs> Kimiantra, Walnick, or off it goes. Hmm, kind of leaning towards Walnick, 
Like, at least it would make Kimietra interesting, but I feel like it's a good companion for Walnick. Yes, rivals to friends. I feel it, yeah. Oh! As long as you can take care of yourself. But if my coin goes missing again, I'm using you as monster bait. Little thing just trotting along like a fucking idiot. Okay, so I'm gonna leave. Um, I guess I'll just, I'll leave, I'll leave little Dum Dum Boy. I love Edendra. He's a good little, little baby. Um, doing something important. Sorry, I was just like, I need to get over there. <laughs> All right, so why don't you come help uh, with the research site then with your nice strong bear arms. Okay. Oh, Ardian still hasn't fully recovered from the last battle. Oh. What's going on? We just ate and the sun was directly overhead in the clearing we're in. <gasps> Suddenly, the bush next to Ardian erupts into a flurry of ebon feathers. Ebon, how would you? Okay. They burst out of the treetops, a spiral of onyx, their raucous caws startling the other birds around them. Just as suddenly they spiral down, back down, forming a tight ball, whirling black, almost like smoke. Until... Who is she? She seems so familiar. Yes, Ardian, familiar indeed. You can read my mind? How? No, I, bro, you, you just spoke. The separation between us is an incidental thing, still. It troubles me. I changed voices and I'm fine with it. And I wish to be whole. I, I know her from my dreams of flight and feather. What do you say, Ardian? Are you ready to embrace me once again? I mean, it's another one of those, I mean, it'd make it more interesting. <laughs> I'm going for it. Here's to hoping you won't swallow me whole. A small tornado of talons, beak and feather engulfs them. Ardian! When the dark cloud clears. What does this give him? Like, does this do anything for him? I like the bird head better, at least, so. I just, it's not a, it's nothing personal. I like Guardian. He's just, you know, he's no Esther. Yeah, yeah. Open the door. Ka! Ka! <laughs> um, he can hit both 
of them. So I'm going to go one, two. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'll stop doing that. I'll try. I will try to stop doing it. Ooh, but I do this and he's gone. Yeah, you're gone. <laughs> Alright, Kimiatra. Ooh, shit. Because she was in the gray plane. Oh, no! Damn straight. Have I mentioned how much I love this game? What? You motherfucker. I hate this game. No I'm kidding. Um. Uh, I don't know. I guess just go here. Then we'll have you interfuse with something on your next turn. There. Oh, look at bird head. Um, well, I mean, obviously her, because I love it. Oh, look how cute she is. Oh. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, she went the lightweight armor. He went the heavyweight ar armor. So, just keeping them at office events. I'm going to give the shield... Endra. That seems right. <laughs> that was a, like a story purpose thing. It feels like he'd have a fucking shield. Whereas Artie and I feel like he just moves around. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, find an item. I will leave. You know what? Let's leave Kimietra behind. And the other three can go Cute. Okay, then patrol. Yeah. Get your patrol on. The more questions you ask, the closer you look, the, the closer to truth you shall ever come. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <sighs> Alex demonstrates so much more need for heavy armor given how many limbs he's lost. That is a fact. That is indisputable. <laughs> Birdhead is very good aesthetically speaking. You are quite, quite correct. Uh, bonus damage. 4.3. 2.1. 2.1. Um, you know what? Ardian gets it. You earned my respect with that head, man. However, I think I might do all of Ardian's lines from now on as Kah! <laughs> Yeah, I am. Patrol. Oh wait, they are patrolling. Oh wait, I got people sitting around doing nothing, don't I? Yep. Oh no, oh no, 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 okay. Assemble. I mean, I'll, I'll get him here as quickly as I can, but like... Um, I'm gonna go with... Uh, well, what's coming? I don't remember. <laughs> a 
<laughs> they all just learn how to speak crow. Like how everyone knows Wookie somehow. Wookie. Okay. Um. Oh, that's where we got the bunny. Ariana, focus. Jesus Christ. Fuck it. Build that goddamn station. You two, you're already here. Let's go. Prepare defenses. Try for it at least. Sorry, I'm breezing through it again, you guys. Um, well, Ardian's so far away, so... Sorry, bruh. Okay, we've got uh, tier one. Tier... Woo! Man. We can... Okay. Do I have to build a... I have to build a pass and go all the way over there before I can... <sighs> Oh, pillaging gorgons have arrived. Let's go. Guys, I'm like freaking out. Well, Nick, I'm glad you're here. I don't, I don't know why that, that always like gets to me. I'm like, why do you say this? Okay. Charge into battle seems like the smartest thing. And she's got bear arms. So like. I feel that she's very, she would know about these things. Okay, so. She goes, hey, our founding father said I had a right to bear arms. <laughs> I don't care that that wasn't clever. Oh. Cool. Go us. Hurt, hit harder, because we follow Esther Bear Arms. Listen with the heart. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. She got them bare arms. I'm just trying to make sure I see the whole thing. Rawr. Um. Oh yeah. So something when we have tier three, we get volley of arrows, which can be used like. Twice. I don't know. Anyway. Maybe we can use more than that. It's just a matter of waiting for them to reload. I don't know what I want this little blonde thing to do. Posy Haster. Oh. I didn't mean for that to happen. Oh, I didn't see that one. <sighs> Posey may die. Posey may die. And shoot that boar. And let's see. Why don't you come here and protect this man? Because I think he's going to need it. Um, I mean, Walnut could just go stand here and throw a fucking axe. Ooh, or throw an axe. Oh, you know, hmm. Wait, no, I said interfuse with this thing. Sometimes the interface is a little buggy. <laughs> Sorry, the folks are no more. Oh no! <laughs> so, my best friend Leslie and I would go to the bar where I actually ended up meeting Boyfriend Meister and um, there was this band there and 
they were like a halfway decent Irish ju uh, junk band. <laughs> like, uh, they were charming. That's really all they had going for them. But like, <laughs> watched their steady decline and apparently now they are no more. Less sad. I'm sure, I'm sure Leslie is just distraught because she liked how often they would call us out in the audience and I'm just like but that's literally everything that ever happens to me I don't need this <laughs> all right I'm gonna go hug that piggy to death oh oh I'm doing it I'm hugging that piggy to death oh <laughs> I, I was ready to kill it, Jesus. Yeah, you hobble that motherfucker. Oh, right, 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 right. You, here. No, fuck, shit. Skank tits. Guard, I guess. Damn, look at him. Jesus, look at the fucking radius on this motherfucker. Good God, Walnick. You am a fucking beast. Oof. I love you. You're wonderful. Now, uh, attack this horrible monster because it just killed a very brave um, young villager. And, you know... You, you liked her. You liked her fucking, like, her can-do attitude. And now she's no more. I'm re we're really getting into how I, like, I RP these things. <laughs> when I'm, but it's usually silent because I'm just sitting on the couch. Occasionally I exclaim and I explain to Boyfriend Meister what's going on. Okay, this is not our battle. Uh, okay, go for that. Okay, um... trying to think strategically <laughs> how right it's only like that big okay well if that wouldn't work then I just want to kind of see what I can do to not die. Let's strike this fucker. Strike him dead. Wolf called? You know what, fucking... Oh, right, you can't move. Um... So, I guess it's gonna be... Yeah, you gotta protect yourself sometimes, Walnick. And that day, Walnick learned that it's okay to look after yourself. Because the friends you'd risk your life to protect would understand when you need to put yourself first. It's true, you guys. 
Also, fuck Gorgons, we've got bear arms. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Alright, that's it. We're not fucking around anymore, whatever the fuck this team is called. Jump! And murder! You're still stuck here? Okay. Um... Get over here to protect your frenzy. Ugh, how is it only 31% chance? I'm taking it. Okay, we're gonna do one of my favorite fucking stupid things. Let's let's do thundering challenge. Now this fucker can't attack any of my friends. And so she will now stand sentinel. Um meanwhile. Yes! Oh my goodness! He he saved him by like shooting through that was a fucking rad shot. Oh no! Oh fallen villager! You bastard! Rain of arrows on these fucks. Rain death! You motherfucker. Now, come and fucking hit this raccoon to death. Yeah! <sighs> okay. So we, we fought off that invasion, but... Yeah, no, I know. That's why I'm trying to get this done. Jesus. Um, you know what? Uh, we should also wait, is no, okay. Um, let's see. Kmietra and rocks. No, rocks, because I fucking love having them go together because they hate each other. And so that gives them fucking plus a uh, stunt chance. Like, how rad is that? What? Defend again? I guess we're staying here, guys. Oh, God. A great cry they share. Look at that cool ass fucking shield. I love that shield. <laughs> fucking Esther's in the front. Yeah! challenge and then go sentinel <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me if anyone was wondering I have no fucking clue um, yeah okay rad Rad, rad. Good job, Jane. 
Bl James Fletch Creep. Ah, and then there's Broglo Felch. <sighs> just, just stand there. Just Jesus, I can't with these people. <laughs> oh, I should have gone after that one. Oh well. I just, I hate the guys so much. They're horrible. Uh, I'll just, yeah, I'm gonna protect against that, and, I mean, I can just, like, axe this motherfucker, or that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm axe this motherfucker to death. Unto death. Guess that I didn't have to waste the scare anymore then. Well, such is life. And now she's hidden. Okay, um. Come stand here with Walmick. Although the last lady who did that died. So maybe don't. Hmm. Oh, oh no! Walnick! Go save Walnick. Um, how about I engage that fucker? Because then it, it can't attack my friend. Because that's, that's what Esther does. Esther Bear Arms is a noble, noble warrior woman. No, no, be super loud. It's it's helpful. No, not attack scenery. I was trying to do jealous zealous jump, but that's uh Um Go here and then like be guardian, I guess. Um. Oh no! Okay. No! Not more! <laughs> More still coming, shit. How many rounds is this supposed to be? <laughs> I'm just making sure. I'm thinking. I'm just, I'm being aware that there's always a possibility there are things around the corner, so. <sighs> Death is just around the corner. Let's just hide you there. Just hide you there. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> this is my 
charm. This is my child, Broglo. If you come here, you can shoot. Yay! He shoot the bad thing. He shoot the wild thing. Bum 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 bum. I mean, I know they're coming. Are any of them out? Let's just take this moment to interfuse with literally everything you can. And, and also, let's just fucking extend your reach as far as we fo possibly fucking can. God, yes! Walnick is fucking badass. Shit. Come stand with your son. Or if you are to die, let it be together. Oh, right. Walnick should have moved. That was my bad entirely. That's it? That's the only fucking enemy? Fine. Walnick, you're up. No, no, no. I'm not wasting my time on these ones who are, like, way too fucking far away. Six damage versus five damage. Yeah! I hammered that bear to death. Vigilance, yes. Ooh, or ooh. I could get me a fucking swipe and a bear hug all in one go. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Moon unit. Okay, let's resume that. What is Ardian doing? Where is Ardian? Where's that bird-headed fool? Oh, is Ardian patrolling alone? Oh, sorry. Oh, you know what? I have... Nobody has Bard, damn it. Bard makes uh, recruiting cheaper. Okay, well, Kimiatra, why don't you go do it? Okay, patrol, y'all. Bitches. Okay, let's get some new blood in here. Hot-headed romantic. Goofish greed wagon. Bookish leader, snarky leader. Romantic poet, no thank you. Goofish leader, oh look at her. Greed poet, cowardly romantic. Passionate greed wagon. Romantic peacemaker. Uh, decisive peacemaker. Oh, you know what? I kind of like her. I feel like she's gonna be um, 
Very mantisy. Okay. Um, Richer, darker, there we go. that face. It's one of my favorites. I do love that hair. What do we got for her? His, I'm just gonna finish introducing her and then we'll finish. Um, flirt literary thorny. How unfortunate. Where Nelia grew up, all the boys were raised not to bed until the age of 30. It became obvious that she, that she would leave early. The treasure of traveling myth, mystics had always drew her. Oh, wait, no, I just remembered. Anyone? Thank you. History. Oh, it changed. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, the girls were told that. I, I assume they both were, and that's what it is. Uh, the treasures of traveling mystics always drew her eye. Awake to her power, she developed quite a quiet longing to lay hold of them. The ache only grew. Normally, she would have she would stand aloof to the suffering of others. Truth was, though. She had to meet girls somewhere. She didn't actually like any of the boys. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, by the way, uh, Nelia, girls are an option too. Oh, well, fuck, that's so much better, okay. <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah, guys are okay. We're like, geez, this is a much better choice. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I kind of love her, okay. Actually, do I want those to be her colors? Maybe like a purple. Like a real nice, rich, deep purple. Like maybe not so rich. Yeah, that's, that's pretty... And then Okay. Yeah, no, I dig that. I dig that definitely. Okay. That's my girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A promise cat. Gossip didn't fail me. Kimietta's in town. Nilia? You're a long way from home, kiddo. Well, she had to go get some tail, you know. Uh, <laughs> it's been a long time. She's getting older, so I'm giving her some more voice. Although she's only in her 30s, so I don't know why she looks so fucking... Oh, right, she's been out. Yeah. So, fill me in on those years, old friend. Fill those years for me. Ugh. Later. <laughs> Remember how I used to build monsters out of sticks just to knock them down? Promised you that I was going to grow up to save the world? 
Your heart was in the right place, even if your aim rarely was. Well, you know how life goes, how you drift away, forget what's important, then look around one morning and wonder what happened? But I want to make good on that promise. It's heartbreaking work, I won't lie, but it's worth it. Okay, um, I don't know. She got that, that club, so part of me is like, yeah, fucking warrior. But I was originally thinking like a hunter or a mystic, since we still only have one mystic. But like, that's all you really need is one good mystic, but if you can get some, yeah, let's get someone who's gonna be more, um, we'll give her a different focus. I, I like this, yes. She's the kind of queer who is attracted to maybe 10 men in all of history and then everyone else she knows. Oh, right, so she's gonna train uh, whatever the fuck her name was. Nilia? Yeah. Blonde Foster Pines has been cleared of infestation. Well, that's cool. They... They should totally, you know, attack. The sun's fallen and a silver fog floats from the trees where the shadows pool. Oh, shit, I just realized it's still... Endra, stop for a second. Fog's getting thick. Important thing is to stick together. I can't remember a gloom quite like this. You? Those are the twilight birds are silent. <sighs> the quiet forms a fence around them, impenetrable. The whirling air almost utterly opaque. Walnick? Esther? I think we need to not stand here let's let's go to the trees at least those are solid they halt just inside the shelter of the pines the dark air clinging wet the trunks they press to dampen their palms i don't like tree clinging generally hmm then some something vast moves beside them slow achingly slow it passes too enormous to be seen impossibly silent be still be quiet it's a spirit night's fallen the fog wanders away clinging to the felty outline of that gargantuan shadow Let's find the others. Maybe they saw it too. Maybe they saw it better. I'd rather take a look now. Yeah, I'd rather take a look now. I'm, I'm always all about, let's stay on that thing. <laughs> Come on, Rogs. Well, we won't go too far. Still within shouting range. <sighs> it's reckless, Endra. But all right, I'll guard you. <laughs> because I feel like he, he, he really likes Endra. But he also resents the fact because he's so much like his mother. The night emptied of silence, fills again with noise, crickets and owls scuttle and scuttling ferrets. Approximating where the giant had passed, they, they search. There are no footprints. Or are there? Pools of green light are spaced along the unbroken pine trunks, perhaps at distances to match the thing's huge strides. Even as they watch, the light pools rapidly shrink to the ground, Drying, sinking, perhaps just fading like starlight. Endra runs to stoop over one of these, and he scrapes the earth away with the tip of his spear. Careful. Scritch, scratch. <laughs> he plucks a glowing seed from the ground as it tries to burrow deeper. It slips his grasp, but then floats settling in the air. Deer, boars, or worse out there. Snatching the seed, Endra secures it in his pocket. This is shouting distance, right? <laughs> it's certainly worth a try. Walnick! Esther! Their friends find them. But so do their enemies. Okay, and that is where we will end it for today. I think 
somebody shaving. Nope, that's just in this. Shit, I'm stupid. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that is uh, it for this evening. Um, join us to, uh, Saturday night for our four-year anniversary podcast. What? Today is the four-year anniversary of our first podcast. That's pretty rad. Also really cringy to look back at, but you know, whatever. So anyway, I'll see you guys later.